Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rise of Mordor battle for you today and today is a 1v1 on large armies we have Dol Amroth here facing down Dor Winian and this was sent in by a sub and a member of the Discord so if you want to uh, feature on the channel then do join the Discord if you want to send in your own replays uh, pretty damn epic and I may then feature them on the channel and also if you just want to then also take part in other battles that then like we do a lot of scenario battles on the Discord uh, so if you want to take part in them, and they uh, for sure definitely feature on the channel. So if you want to take part in them, then do also join the Discord. The link will be down below. And uh, yeah, just keep up all the support with all the likes and subscribes uh, if you're new around here. And uh, leave comments for your support as well. We're nearly at uh, 1,300 subs. So if we can get there by the end of the month, that will be really great. But anyway, on with the battle. And uh, we have a, a quick push up here. It seems like... Dolamath was really setting up his archers really close. He's going to put some Nimrodel rangers really close to face down these Athala rangers and Avari ma marksmen. Avari marksmen are certainly their most elite uh, archers. Nimrodel rangers are the most elite uh, archers that Dolamath can bring as well. So, I mean, look at the size of these armies. These are pretty big armies. Lots of lines. And Dolamath going for a more uh, defensive formation, he's looking like with these. Uh, he's going like with a bit of an angle here on his flanks. Looks like Dorwinian setting up to really make the assault. Um, but Do Dolamroth just has the stronger cavalry. Uh, he's not got much of it, but it is a lot. Um, excuse me, there's I'm like burping away. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you look at this cavalry, Vint uh, mounted Vinter Court Guards, these aren't great. I think they're the only unit that they can bring for cavalry. I th actually, no, they can bring some other cavalry. Um, but they're not, they're not great. But we have the Knights of the uh, Silver Swan here. They're pretty damn awesome. We've also got more Knights of the Silver Swan. We've got Knights of Imrahil. They're very nasty. But there you go. So already Nimrodel archers breaking. I don't know why he got his uh, archers so close. They're not even firing. Oh, well, actually, maybe they are. Just not very often. But they are getting very close and focusing down these Athala Rangers. So I guess that's not a bad trade-off. Take out this one unit. But he's going to lose three units of archers. I mean, he's got another three... Um, but there's more Thala Rangers over here. It looks like it's going to be a 5 on... Uh, well, what's a 5 on 6? But these Avari Marksmen are nasty. And um, they're better than anything that uh, Dol Amroth can bring. So, I mean, Dol Winning does have the advantage there. Let's look at these guys. They look awesome. They actually do look really cool. And there they go, marching off in this direction. Guess they're going to support over here, possibly? I don't know. Maybe they're going to try and focus on these guys first. But if I was a Dol Amroth, I'd possibly... I mean, there's quite a bit of a gap between the archers and the swords. You could possibly try and go for a cavalry charge. Um, try and st take some of them out. It looks like he's going to... Dol Amroth also massing most of his cavalry over here. Um, I don't know if he can see this cavalry. Possibly not. But we do have more Vinter... Yeah, you know, he can see this cavalry. He has more Vinter Court Guards there as well. But it doesn't seem like they're too interesting. But the uh, skirmish phase looks like it's coming to an end or it is... Somewhat coming to an end. We'll have a look at some of the other units while uh, we wait. Um, I'm sure I'll leave a time down below if you want to actually get down to the actual proper battle when like infantry uh, collide. I'm sure I'll put a time at the bottom and you can, guys can uh, can jo jo rejoin us there. But anyway, I'll quickly go through some of the units. We've got Vintercourt Swordsman making this first line of first line of uh, Dorwinian. We've got yeah, just a whole line of them. Wow. Um, we've got Vintercourt Guards here. See, there's a Spear variant. They also look pretty damn awesome, to be fair. I do like Dorwinian. Uh, these, like, Court Guards are pretty... They're pretty fun to... Uh, well, not fun, but they're pretty good looking, I think. Uh, we've got Dorwinian Spear Paladins. These are some of the more elite stuff. This is where the elite uh, stuff of Dorwinian comes in. And they are very nasty. But, I mean, yeah, I'm just keeping an eye on the Skirmish Race. Looks like there's a Thala Ranger going to fall back the... Marksman are actually nearly out of ammo, which is good for Dol Amroth. Uh, he's got a bit of ammo left, but he's running out of archers, if anything. Um, anyway, back to what they've got in reserve. They've got Dorwinian Protectors over here. These are a shock unit. These guys are also pretty damn powerful, but they're very, very... Um, uh, they're very... If they get focused on my uh, archers, they, they're very uh, easy to kill. That's what I was going to say. I, I was thinking of something vulnerable. Why could I not think of the word vulnerable? But they're, yeah, they're very vulnerable to archers. Um, there you go. And then we've got uh, Vinland Guards, which are probably their best unit they have um, available to, to Dorwinian at the moment. 
Yeah, these are just basically the sword version of the Spear Paladins over there. And yeah, like I said, probably the best unit they can bring in. A solid unit. Um, they'll probably go up against most of Dol Amroth's stuff. So, speaking of Dol Amroth, we'll have a look at his stuff. Look at these Spear pal uh, these Seawood Spears here. Seaward Spears. They look awesome. I do love Dol Amroth. They look, do look amazing. These guys here look goddamn awesome. Making a bit of a, like a spear wall almost. Um, we've got Prince's Coast Guards in behind. They're also very nice. What we've got over here, we've got Coastal Levies. Coastal Skirmishes, I should say. So, he has actually got Java units. So, uh, Dol, when you maybe want to leave some ammo, like these Athala Rangers, might want to leave his ammo to take out these Coastal Skirmishes. He's got Dismounted Knights of Imrahil. Quite a lot of them, actually. He's got Seaward Sword Infantry over here, which is just a sword variant of the Spears. Also looking very nice, and I think that's kind of it. He's not. Oh, Haven Guard. Oh, I didn't even see these guys. These are the shock infantry. These will be going up against Darwinian protectors. They do look awesome. The enemy has discovered our They're like swan knights, but dismounted almost. And speaking of that, there's all these swan knights here. But we've kind of already been over the cavalry for both sides. Um, and it does look like cavalry is making a bit of an of an offensive. Uh, we've got a few archers going in here. This is going to be. Funny. It's technically the uh, first clash of infantry, but I won't. It's not really the first clash of infantry, let's be honest. There you go. I mean, they weren't going to do much. But they are actually going to break this unit. Okay, that's kind of funny. A Vari marksman will break, break this Nimbardale Ranger unit. Which is kind of big because these Nimbardale Rangers have quite a bit of ammo left. Even though there's not many of them, they have still had ammo. Yeah, and these guys, poor guys, are just going to get focused down. Oh my gosh. Um, they did actually... These Nimrodel Rangers are now going to focus on these Vari Marksmen. Oh gosh. Brutal. Imagine being one of these guys. It's like going over the top and just like, charge. Just get there. One more volley. Oh, they're going to break. Yeah, no surprise here. But here we've got Cavalry coming in. So here we go. This is going to be the first clash by the looks of it. Cavalry here coming in. Going to catch this... Uh, Arch unit quite well. Oh, yep, yeah, they've been caught. Oh no, that's not good. This unit was one of the few units that had ammo left and was the size of a unit. But here we go, we've got Swan Knights coming over the ridge. And they're going to come and save the day. Try and get these archers out of there. I'd desperately be trying to get those archers out of there if I was Dol Amroth. You need them for uh, later on because, like, the arch, like, ammo currently, I'd say, is in favor of you. And you want to keep it like that. They have all those skirmishes, but keep some archers as well. More range, more ammo. But he looks like he can keep them in combat. There's a few few loose arrows coming in, still from uh, Dorwinnie. He's still firing in some stuff. But yeah, those archers definitely need to get out of there. They're not looking so hot. We've got more cavalry over here. I didn't even realize this. Okay, so, I mean, as you can see here, look. Uh, losing decisively. Uh, not winning decisively, I should say. Uh, losing decisively. These just Vinter Court Guards are just uh, like this. Yeah, the Mountain Vinter Court Guards just no good. Okay, now we've got Paladins um, coming in. What are they called? Pal Paladins of the Vinter Court. Oh, uh, I don't think I've actually seen them. Usually I see um, the other unit brought, which I can't actually remember the name off the top of my head. Um, but they often get sent it, uh, get used because I think they're cheaper and they're just as good. But to be honest, I often bring a, if I'm playing as Dorwin, I often just bring a spear unit as a general. But yeah, I mean, these guys, I don't think they're going to do okay now. I mean, yeah, the general's now being sent in for uh, both sides. I mean, Mount of Intercore Guard. Okay, Haven Guard coming up now. This is huge. Okay, so we have Haven Guard coming in. These guys will definitely turn the balance of power in uh, favor of... Um, of Dol Amroth. I mean, I would be getting the general out if possible. This whole flank's just lost. You need infantry over here, which he is sending now. We've got Dorian, uh, we've got Dorian sending over some Vinter Court swordsmen and spears. He needs to send one unit in here really to support that fight, and he needs to send one unit in the, into here, which he's doing now. Looks like he might be sending over more infantry. Oh, they're getting peppered though. They are getting peppered. I don't think they're going to take any losses yet, but yep, yeah, those Nimrodel Rangers. They're going to make them a. Uh, Feel the pain before they come in. And there you go. The general is falling out. Falling back in the Ithala range is going in to hold back the Knights of Imrahil. And this unit is nasty. You can only bring one of it one of it for a reason. And there you go. They broke the cavalry. 
Now spears are being sent in. They may slow down. Oh, some good charges here though. They wrecked the center of this formation. It's so thin. They've wrecked it. And now we've got the Haven Guard going in. These Haven Guard, I still think, will probably beat most of this infantry. Really well done by Dol Amroth. I think Dorwinian might have to send up more stuff here. He's, which could be huge because he's just sucking more troops up into the small fight here, which Dol, Am Dol Amroth is winning. Um, Dorwinian might just have to, at some point, just cut his losses and just think, well, I'm just not going to win here. It's a shame he used all, of his arm all his armor up on... Uh, shooting the archers when he could have used them for shooting down these haven guard because they don't have any shields so they again are very vulnerable to uh, archers and that's how I could remember the word uh, when I was trying to describe Dorian protectors not so easy they're all fighting off in the long grass they've uh, in the poppy fields it's a bit like it's Flanders in World War 1 or something like that yeah, as you can see here, look, balance of power, losing decisively. These guys are just nasty with their huge swords. And there you go, they've broken this cavalry unit as well. It's definitely a loss over here. Dorwin just needs to form up a line. And he's actually fighting over here. I didn't even realize this. So he tried to make it offensive on this side. Did he dismount his cavalry? I think he did, didn't he? He did. He dismounted some cavalry. That was a bit bizarre. I wouldn't have done that. Like, just keep them in combat. I can see what he was trying to do. He was trying to have an infantry threat and a cavalry threat when attacking here. But he was just better probably keep them both mobile. Because he could have then got around. He could have probably sent in one unit here and sucked in both Haven Guard units. And sent one unit around to go and take out these archers. Quite possibly. You don't know. He might not have. The Lamroth might have seen it. But, um... It does seem like... it does. See oh, actually, this cavalry is losing here. Nice, the Silver Swan is losing. But these two units are losing due to Knights of Imrahel being in here. Or dismounted ones. So it looks like Dol is going to take both the flanks. Um, no surprise there with the units he's really putting in. But Dorwinian's still got a pretty solid center. And he's got pikes. Which are better than the Prince's Coast Guard. So there's still hope. And there we go. Dorwinian has uh, lost over here as well by the looks of it. Basically all over. There's a few last uh, survivors making some defiant stand. But they're, they're getting cut down. And back over on this flank. It looks like this side's also just kind of calmed down. And they've, uh, they've fallen back. And now it looks like there's going to be a bit of a wait to see who makes the next move. If I was Dor... Uh, not Dorwinian. If I was Dol Amroth, I'd start, certainly start being offensive with my cavalry. I'd be getting them around the back. So Dol Winning's got to have units facing the other way. But yeah, if you see this, like, Dol Winning, I'd say, still got numbers on his side. He actually doesn't. Uh, I think it, he's 300 men short, but I think he's got a solid line here. Which he can definitely overwhelm Dol Amroth with. Hmm, yeah, I mean, yeah, it would have been better if you didn't dismount this unit of uh, cavalry, to be honest. And this... Yeah, look at it. He's trying to get them mounted up again, I think, so he can... Uh, but Dol Amroth will chase him down. Here we go. We'll just wait for this to happen. And then I'll probably make a cut and see whether um, anyone makes a move. I'm sure someone will make a move in a moment, but we'll have to find out who. Oh, look at this. So they're going to send some cavalry in to try and save... Oh, they did actually catch these... Uh, Dismounted cavalry, but yeah, they're sending the cavalry in to try and save the uh, mounted, uh, the dismounted one, so it can get back to his horses. Imagine that—a unit of uh, eighty uh, dismounted and only fifteen or fourteen return. Wow, that is shocking. It fools, but yeah, there you go. Dorwinian is uh, gonna at least route that unit of cavalry, so they will at least uh, have a small victory here, I guess. This is. Some sort of a victory, but at such actually no, they're not. I keep thinking Dorwinian's in the yellow for some reason. Dorwinian's very much uh, losing this fight. Yeah, they need to get those dismounted boys in there. Oh, and the horses are scattering. Apart from the fourteen that uh, are going to be left. But yes, now there's horses just covering the map. But yes, I'm going to make a cut here, and we're going to see who makes the next move. So I'll see you guys in a moment. One.
And we're back on the battlefield, and it's uh, well, kind of a combination. Both sides sent some troops forward, and they both clashed in the middle. So we have Dol Amroth here with his Sea Ward Spear Infantry fighting some Vintercourt Swordsmen. And uh, I'm going to say this is going to be an easy victory for Dol Amroth. He's got more troops here. Um, you can see he's actually falling back quite a lot of troops to over here to like defend this little settlement, which is kind of cool. But um, it does mean that, well, what troops can't get in here are just going to get absolutely killed off by Dorwinian. Not by Dorwinian, by uh, Dol Amroth. Um, so, I mean, so he's making himself an advantage, even wor a disadvantage even worse. But, um, I mean, apparently his combat is even. Pretty surprising. I mean, they are slowly getting around the flanks of these uh, Winter Court Swordsmen. But here we go. This will be a good charge. Some Sea Ward infantry coming in. Clashing with some Vinter Court spearmen. Or Court. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, then we've got a small unit of Vinter Court swordsmen also joining the fight. I mean, yeah, they're not going to make much of a difference. But here we go. Haven Guard shouting their war cries, waving their big swords in the air. They're going to come in and do some damage. Cutting these guys down. We've got more stuff coming in now. We've got Vinter Court guards uh, filling up. Uh, any holes in the line and just reinforcing the line generally. We've got Prince's Coast Guard now here. We have Halberdiers helping the line. These guys are actually losing decisively. And they if they don't form up properly, they they seem to that seems to happen quite often. Um, and it's kind of the case here. Look at this, they're just getting inside the formation, they're just cutting them down. So I think he could break that unit of uh, Halberdiers quite easily. A nice long line here of infantry. What we want to see. But now would be the time to send in your cavalry. I think both sides... Well, obviously Dolmoroth has plenty of cavalry left. But if, if Dol Winning had cavalry left, that was... Uh, well, it's less his general, but he's pretty beaten up. But if he's had cavalry, really, he's got... Yeah, another one with 12. He could just, like, start surrounding uh, and go through these gaps here that Dolmoroth's making. He could get through these gaps. He could go and take out these arches. He could start surrounding units, break them. Obviously, it would rely on him to also beat Dol Amroth's cavalry. Which, going up against Dol Amroth, you know he's going to bring good cavalry. So, I mean, unless you're playing as possibly like Rohan with the submod on, there's probably not any real faction that could beat Dol Amroth currently with cavalry. Maybe Gondor, um, because they can basically bring the same units, uh, bar Knights of Imladris. Vinland Guard in here now. He's sending in some very expensive units to try and hold this line. Oh, this is not going to be good. Haven Guard now win, uh, won over here. We have archers now fighting Haven Guard. So, Vary Marks. We have cavalry going in here. Trying to take out some Vinland Guards. I think Dorwinian didn't get out his best units that he could possibly have got out. We've got Vintercourt Swordsman out. Um, he certainly didn't. I wouldn't have picked some of these units to come back here. Like, Court Swordsman just. Why would you want them at the back here? You want your, uh, like, door winning protectors, which he has got. You also want a uh, Vinland Guard. He's got some uh, door winning Spear Paladins back, which is good, I guess. Oh, he's got some Vinland Guards coming back now as well. And it looks like the next assault's already getting ready. Oh, we've got Seaward Infantry over here. Knights of Inlabdris, and... Yeah, that's kind of it. And we've got uh, Skirmishes as well, obviously. But Oh, here we go. That might change the battle. Pikes. We have Pikes. With their cool woven, uh, like, poles. They do look awesome, actually. Yeah, they can certainly change the battle. They can force back Dol Amroth. So, especially since his coast, uh, Princess Coast Guard are not doing a great job in there. They're getting pretty bloody up. They're actually getting outflanked. Well, actually, they're split. I just realised, I, I think they're split. Unless it's two separate units. Yeah, they're two, okay, there's two separate units. That's not the end of the world then. But they are actually still getting flanked, that unit here. Because they, these guys could get turn around and just kill them. Uh, Princess Coast Guard are just going to get chopped down here. Got pikes coming in, more pikes. The cavalry out here at the back though is doing a nasty job. And this Vinland Guards unit, already wavering. I can't even see any of them. Oh, there's some here. Yeah, they're barely making a... Barely making a difference into this cavalry like 
It's barely taking any casualties. Like the general has only lost two men. That's how dangerous Knights of Inlandris are. They are awful to fight. Um, Vince Court Swordsman here being flanked by Haven Guard. And we've now got Vinland Guards in here as well. Oh, every time I just see Vinland Guards on the front line, I'm just a bit of me uh, dies inside because I know that they just could be the final defense that uh, Dorian's making. Vintercourt swordsmen don't deserve to be there. Let them die on this front line trying to hold back stuff. There's not actually a single spot that I don't see Dor winning doing well. He's not winning any. He's got some even. But, I mean, Pikes here losing. Pikes are losing in this fight. I mean, his Pikes are pretty close to the front line. They kind of need to reform. Oh, cavalry. I didn't even see that. That is going to be devastating. Are we going to have another charge? Quite possibly. Or are they just going to go into somewhere else? Oh, they're going to try and chase down the arch unit, maybe. I would try and chase down the arch unit. Cavalry here, though. That's about to come in. Oh, no. This is going to be painful. I mean, there's already Haven Guard in here. You needed to send these guys in really dull iron off. Spare them. They're already dead. They're already dead. Oh. Yeah, it actually wasn't that great a charge. There you go. They're breaking him, these guys here, though. There's Knights of Inlandris will cut these guys down. The Pikes about to break. If you have the Pikes for the final defense, that would be excellent as well. Because they're running out of ammo, is uh, Dol Amroth. He's got his skirmishes left, but... Like, Javis can get some kills, but, I mean, they might actually get quite a lot of kills at close range. Because, I mean, there's nothing stopping uh, Dol Amroth getting, like, point-blank range and just focusing these guys down. This does look like an epic defense, though. I won't lie. He's got quite a lot of units in here. But he's got so many little alleyways he's got to defend. So many little alleyways. Yeah, the cavalry try to get in and it's not going to happen though. And now this is basically the fight. This is the only place that they're winning. Or like doing okay. Because of the pikes here. And the pikes aren't even like properly in the fight. They're actually probably too far back. Because these vi winter... Uh, Spears have basically pushed far too forward now. Vince Court Spears. Jeez, uh, I've said Vince's Court Spears so many times, it's just like becoming a bit of a tongue twister. But this is going to be painful. More painful than tongue twisters. It's going to be cavalry in the back again. Oh no. Oh no. I feel a few pikes. I feel. And yeah, here they go. They're not even. Oh jeez. There's just like, there was a pike line there and it's disappeared under like a layer of cavalry. And whatever line was here is broken. Um, the cavalry's even broke, got so far through, it's got to the uh, front lines of the spear, like the seaward spears. That is ridiculous. And there you go. A huge chain route here. Huge chain route. Jeez. Um, so, I mean, now the figure's like 2,000 difference. I think Dollar Armor probably has got this in the bag, but I mean, it depends what pain that can be put through here. They're going to have to go through very small choke points. So there is hope for Dorwinian. It's a very interesting spot. Did he dismount more stuff? Oh, he dismounted his general. Not the worst idea, but I mean, keep it, again, keep mobility. Um, not the worst idea, but yeah, so it looks like they're going to break everything here. It's just like this one unit of uh, Vinland guards that returned. Oh, gosh. Yeah, but there's there's one unit as well of intercourt swords. Right, this stuff started to break. I try and just get some of it to run back for the like, get it to run for that settlement. The cavalry's never gonna make it. See, he's doing it with the pikes. He realizes he's have got those pikes inside. He's running for that uh, that settlement, and uh, with good reason. He needs every man he can get back there. But Dolaros cavalry probably can catch him. And there we go. This is, I mean, look at the horde that is uh, Dol Amroth that is left. Let's get, just like, zoom in. Look at all this. I mean, they do look glorious. And a bit bloodied up. Like, Dol Amroth's like, armor looks amazing, I think. When it's like, yeah, a bit beaten up. We've actually been in combat. I mean, it looks good when it's nice and shiny as well. But yeah, they're going to allow this pike unit to get back. Wow. Uh, they probably could have reached that. Oh, no, here you go. They're going to turn around now. Knights of the Source. Silver Swan. Um... Oh, I don't know. They might make it. They may or may not make that. Oh, Jesus. Like, attack orders generally. Everyone kill that, uh, that pike unit. They're desperate to get them. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, archers might need to start firing. Got, these archers do have ammo. That's really good. Okay, they're yeah, they're about to focus on these Soul Swan. Nice. Not the worst idea. Didn't take any out. They actually did pull back. Oh, very smart. He got the pikes to turn around at the last moment. Um, Force the cavalry to fall back. I would definitely save that ammo for big blobs of infantry. But anyway, I'm going to make another cut um, for when the final assault on this little settlement starts. Um, I will return and we will see the final stand of Dorwinian. So we are back on the battlefield for the final assault. It looks like it's about to get ready. We have Javis coming in here, focusing down these uh, Vintercourt spears in their shield wall formation. Good thing they are in their shield wall fo formation because there's a lot of spears coming in. Look at the amount of them. They are slowly picking away at a few guys, but um, yeah, clearly it's, uh, well, not doing enough. <laughs> it's a shield wall. Like, there's so many spaces coming in. And, like, look here. Like, you're not even, like, defending your front now. You fools. Um, but, yeah. The poor guys. What have they got? What are they going to be able to do? They can't really do anything. These poor guys. It's why you should have taken out as many of these coast skirmishes as possible. They are nearly out of ammo. you just got to wait and pray that they run out of ammo soon. He's trying to reform the line. Trying to reform that shield wall. But it's not going to happen. We've got a... Uh, Oh, we've got some uh, Darwinian protectors out here actually chopping down these coastal skirmishes. Is he going to allow this to happen, Doll Admiral? It looks like he is. Um, this is a very fresh unit. It's 119 out of 120. Might want to take these guys out. Like, if they're going to just stay, send these guys out unprotected. Oh, no. He's pulling them back in. Slow them down a bit. Chop a few of them up. But, yeah, they're already out of ammo. So, I mean, they did their damage. They got this unit down from, like, 120 down to uh, 84. Actually, they might have got it down even more. I think it was two units there, wasn't it? But it's not looking good. Over here, we've got the same scenario happening. They're throwing jabbies. Oh, into the back of these Vinland Watchmen. What a great angle. Focusing these guys down. Poor Pikemen. Um, yeah, not much you can do about that. But they are. They have sent in some... Uh, I think they sent some, like, rangers in. Some Mathala rangers to go in and do some damage. They won't, yeah, just slow them down, stop them from throwing their jabbies. But um, it does look like the, well, some sort of combat is going to start. I mean, it looks like it's actually going to start outside this little settlement. It's going to be some Dorian protectors fighting some Knights of Imladris. So I hope you guys have been enjoying the battle so far. It has been a fairly long one, a longer battle than I expected. But uh, it's been pretty damn epic, to be fair. It's like almost been in like a couple of stages. First we had the skirmish and the cavalry stage. They were like the first main infantry line clash. Now we're having a sort of a, a last stand in a village. It's kind of pretty, it's quite cool actually. So yeah, if you want to see more Rise of Mordor, uh, then please do just leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. And if you want to, yeah, if you've not subscribed and you want to see more Rise of Mordor, I'd definitely hit that subscribe button. Um, it's all. I try and regularly get it up here as possible because I know a lot of you guys do enjoy it. And also leave a comment if there's any uh, Lord of the Rings scenarios that you want that you want me to try and recreate because uh, I'm always open to uh, options of what we can do. But it looks like the next assaults are getting ready. It looks like the Sea Ward infantry might be coming in over here. Have they got any ammo left, uh, Dol Amroth? Uh, this unit here has got some ammo left if it can get out of combat. Oh, there is actually a clash of infantry here now. So the first real assault on the actual defense has started as well. These men are hiding in the haystack. A haystack will not hide them, though, from their doom. Well, I presume their doom. Uh, Dorwinia may survive this. You don't know. It's a very thick line here, though. A thick with three C's sort of line. But here you go. It looks like you're going to throw their javies once again. Not a bad jabby throw. I think they try to hit these guys back here, the door winning protectors. I could be wrong. So I wouldn't bother hitting this thick line here. I mean, actually, it's not the worst target in the world. It's such a large target. But yeah, so it looks like that's going to happen. Door winning protectors over here. Um, I think they are slowly getting overwhelmed. They're getting outflanked. You can see over here in the top by uh, some skirmishes. Yeah, they're losing decisively. There's only 46 of them left. Um, these Knights of Imrahil are just... God damn nasty. They've actually got a lot of shock infantry left. That's great. 
but there's luckily it's all survived uh, archers. The pikes haven't survived the archers though. That is a shame. And now it's come down to the Vinter Court Guards to uh, break these guys. But it's just turning into a big old choke, uh, choke point uh, battle, really. I was, I was trying to put choke point and, like, I don't know what I was trying to put it with, but it did not work, put it like that. Um, but I think Gol has got the numbers to slowly get through. So, certainly at the moment, I mean, Gol has not got any surprises that you can get. He's got no cavalry. He's got no uh, archers, no... He's got just like special units of uh, shock infantry. And that's kind of it. That's his only real special uh, unit he's got left. They do look awesome though. I do like this officer. His cape is looking goddamn awesome. Let's see if we can get some kills. Go on, sir. Chop some guys. Imagine having a sword that big. Oh, we got a kill. Nice. And like the top bit of your sword, it just looks like that as well. It's so weird. He's, he's got another kill though. He's killing like Knights of Imladris so they don't even ma matter. This man just chopping them down. Big infantry clash over here though. This is where they're going to be sucking in a lot of troops. It's such a huge choke point to defend. You might be better holding these two little ones. The enemy general is dead. Okay, so Dorwinian has lost his general. That is not good. Oh my gosh. Uh, Dol Amroth's like really getting through. He's like get, sneaking through this little gap here. And he's really broken in. Okay, uh, the lag is kind of a little bit of an issue. Just mainly because I think everything's in a small area here. But yeah, this is not good. I'm not sure how Dorwinian's supposed to be... Like, there's apparently 30 odd minutes left in this battle. I don't think it physically does have 30 minutes left in this battle. Looks like Dorwinian's about to break anyway. He's got no general. His uh, units are all surrounded now. But yeah, this is uh, not looking good. These uh, Dorwinian protectors haven't been sent in now. Look at this. Blood all over the market. So unhygienic. Can't have that. And it looks like... Oh my gosh. Uh... Yeah, oh, this is not so good. Oh, I, uh, I, Dol Amros pulled through here, which is, this is a no-no, I won't lie. Uh, shouldn't really be pulling through there. Kind of got caught out for that one. Um, so yeah, that's, that's unfortunate for Dorwin that he pulled through. But, um, he's actually won over here. These spear paladins have, uh, won the day on this side. And they seem to have stabilized the situation. Okay, so they have actually stabilized... I think Dol Amroth could have finished him there and then. But he's still got a fair amount of stuff. Dol Amroth's got a fair amount left as well. He needs to just get his uh, Coast Guards in there, set them up properly. Here comes the infantry charge again. Knights at Imra Hill. But all these men are breaking and, breaking and running for their lives. That's all Dol Amroth. So that's a concern. Um, because, well, and a small victory for Dorwinian, put it like that. Every little uh, unit that breaks a victory. I, this unit is very much out in the open, though. It's fighting many levy, uh, like coastal spearmen, though. Or skirmishers, I should say, not coastal spearmen. They are, a, I mean, this... Is looking very healthy is this choke point. We've got more Vintercourt swordsmen. Yeah, they're doing a good job here. It's this choke point here that you're going to break most likely because it's such a large choke point. And it's made up of pretty much trash. Certainly the last one you're going to break is that one over here. Spear paladins are going to hold for ages. Ages. 
It might be better off sending like a unit of cavalry in. Like you could probably get a cavalry unit to break through there. And if you get okay, maybe not. They've got uh, they've got they've got guards in here as well. They've got Vinland guards. These guys aren't breaking for a while either. Okay, so yeah, Dorwinian's got a bit of life left in him. There is hope. Uh, balance of power would say otherwise. It's, I mean, he's actually killed quite a lot of men since he's uh, they've gone into this formation, though. They were at like four thousand, uh, and he was at two thousand. Now it's two thousand and one thousand. And this is where most of the two thousand Dol Amroth troops are. They're all stuck here, trying to break through. Um, I wouldn't say this has been successful. The Coast Guards need to get f further forward. Oh, well, actually, they're, they're at the front. Okay. Chopping these guys down. Yep, yeah, I mean, just look at this massive blob here. It's just ready to come in. If they had a few archers, they could break so many of these Dol Amroth troops. Or some cavalry. Imagine if they had some cavalry just lowered back here. The unit's breaking, a prince's coast guard breaking. That's no surprise, to be honest. Uh, I actually don't like zooming out. This is uh, pretty scary. But look, they got all the way in here to Dol Amroth. They kept pushing. They could have definitely done some damage. This is looking like one of the most likely places to break through. They need more troops here. It's Dol Amroth. Um, this small choke point here looks pretty uh, pretty easy to break. One by one, the uh, Darwinian troops are falling, but I'd say that Dolamros are still falling a bit quicker. If they could get a unit through here, this would be great, but they, they definitely can't. Yeah, that gap's far too small. Yeah, they need to let their men really rest up to Dolamros, but he's just... Had no time, and all of uh, Dorwinian's men are very fresh, well rested. Oh, he's got a unit of sealed infantry all the way back here. Where are they going? They're going in the wrong direction. Just wearing them out for no reason. What are they doing there? Oh god, I hate it. Like the frames when they when you come over here just come down ridiculously. Oh, they got cavalry just cycle charging, trying to break through here. Not the worst idea, but you're losing cavalry every time that you then just pull out. And you're charging into spears. Dorwin and protectors going forward again. Clearly they think there's a threat over here. Again, more men breaking. I think that might be the cavalry. No, Haven Guard. Okay. They are breaking Winter Court Guards here. This is the first small victory. They need to really just plow through. In some way. They needed some Javis left. They needed Javis, like, ready now to then fire into the back of these units over here. They could have racked up some kills. Like, firing, them, firing directly point blank on the Javis is... It's not the worst decision, but, like... There are better things you can do with your jabbies. And your archers. Because I'm pretty sure they did have archers left.
Door winning protectors over here. They're, they're doing okay. But I mean, they're in prolonged melee. These guys should start to lose. But they have got spear paladins to help them. Just when I think there's possible for the chance of Dol Amroth to break through, I see another unit. I mean, this spear paladin unit is actually wavering now. Okay. And these door winning protectors are exhausted. Okay, it looks like Dorwinian's troops are starting to get exhausted as well. There's now two units dedicated to try and take out this one choke point. It's ridiculous. Oh, is this the Seaward Infantry Unit that marched all the way out here? And it's gone all the way around here just so we can carry on persisting here. Not a bad idea because they do need troops. Got more units breaking here. Been caught swordsmen, but they still got these Vinland guards here. Are barely touched. And they got Dorwinian protectors ready if needs be. But look at this, Knights of Imladris. Uh don't break very easily, do they? I mean even like the swords for um Seaward swords don't break easily. There's sixteen of them left. No wonder Dolwinians, uh, not Dolwinian, Dol Amrothian is one of the strongest factions in this game. But one of the strongest factions in this game is struggling to find a way through these choke points. There we go, Dorian Protectors falling back. I'll go for another charge. I'll just charge back in. Try and get that, um, well, get that charge bonus when you go in with the Shock Infantry unit. But yeah, look at this. This is very thin as this flank here. You could definitely break through this. Force them back. But, I mean, it looks like they're going to do the attack orders and go in. If you get a cavalry unit, put your cavalry units to just smash through this small gap here. It cause a lot of issues. They are nearly through over here. That's why the Dormin Protectors got sent in. More Knights of Imladris nearly breaking through, but uh, a little just too... Like, the hope was there, and now it's uh, just dashed. It is dashed. So look at that. Yeah, Ally Count, they've lost 200 men. Have uh, Dormin in the time. I think Dol, Dol Amros lost about 400, so they're killing, like, Two men for everyone they're losing. Good maths there by Pope. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, it's kind of working. But this is starting to be a concern, I'd say. Um, if they sent a unit in here, like, if they had saved some Javis, like, put them into the back of this unit here devastating actually would be devastating or if you get actually they have got a halberdier unit here okay very small halberdier unit but look at this blob here this is where this is the hope and dreams of Dol Amroth right now this is where all their main units are um, they're pulling back on quite a lot of fronts not a bad idea I'd send cavalry in start to see if you could just smash cavalry through some of these choke points Certainly through uh, this choke point over here, you could definitely smash them through. They've got a spear unit, but uh, they could definitely get through that small spear unit. And look at the amount of bodies over here since these two units pulled away. Ridiculous. More seaward spear infantry getting ready to go back in. Forming their own shield wall. What's this? Oh, it's a small unit of Haven Guard. Not even attacking on most fronts now is Dol Amroth. He's just resting his troops, I think. He's realised that his men just need every ounce of energy they can get if they're going to win this. I mean, over here, who knows what's happening? 
archers are needed. Archers are indeed needed. Chop them down, Haven Guard. Take some names. Fine out. Imagine just living in this house as this battle's going on outside. Just like, oh god, I'm not going outside. Close all the windows, the curtains, and just pretend it's not happening. Entertain yourself with a. I don't know, what games would you have in, like. Lord of the Rings, uh, or like the Lord of the Rings world. Maybe like they might have chess, uh, or some form of chess in Lord of the Rings. Entertain yourself with a game of chess and pretend it's all not happening. How's the choke point doing? No uh, difference really in this choke point over here. Spear paladins. Well, it's spears versus spears, so I'm going to say these uh, spear paladins might win this. But they are slowly flanking around just because of amount of numbers, I guess. Yeah, no one really massively... Oh, okay, there's going to be a charge here by um, by the door winning protectors. They charged in and kind of like got a bit of a charge on these spears. It's not a bad idea, actually. Use that uh, charge bonus to your, uh, well, advantage. No point not. Oh, the guy that we're looking at is currently getting stabbed up. How can you fight against such hate? It's a good question. Got Nimrodel Rangers joining the fight. They are desperate now. There's so much in here. There's not many of these men left. But if I was Dol Amroth, right, yeah, I think he's seen it. He gets his, if he can get his cavalry to flank in around here, or something to flank in around here, he can surround this unit. I think also Dol Winian's seen it and is a. Uh, Setting forward his spears. Okay, no, Dolanoff. Where is Dolanoff going with his cavalry? Maybe to take out this Vinter Court Guard unit? But yeah, this choke point's not doing so well. Oh my gosh. Vinland Guard here are winning against all three of these units. I mean, they are small units. Oh no, the cavalry is trying to go in here. It just charging into the back of its own men. Wasn't the smartest of ideas, I won't lie. They would have been better just waiting for the. Uh, like when the Vin, um, when the Dorwinian protectors went like forward, then they should have pulled back their spears and sent the cav in. But yeah, I mean, there's still Dorwinian protectors back here. I would have thought with the general being dead for Dorwinian, which I've just forgotten about to be honest, that they might have broken. They just chain routed. They had some archers. They definitely would. Um, Bounce power still in favour of. Dol Amroth, though it's still looking pretty, uh, pretty nasty for Dol Amroth. Are they trying to make a charge here? Okay, so the charge should actually mean that the Vinland Guard are losing that fight, but for like a small amount of time. Yeah, these Prince's Coast Guard are just awful. Oh. Yeah, that charge from the door winning protectors over here. Definitely. Hit. Oh, okay. And wow. I think that's kind of a push through, or I don't know. That kind of looks like a push through by uh, Dol Amroth, but he's got his cavalry in behind. And, uh,. That's not helping, really. I would have gone for the attack maybe somewhere else. Maybe. Well, I would have probably just got through and then just got into here and then surrounded this unit of Vinter Coast Guards. Uh, Court Guards, sorry. She can win that. And they are losing here with the Vinland Guards now. As are uh, 
the Dorian protects, but they need infantry to focus down this side. Like, everything's breaking. They need infantry around here. And it's all over here. But the cavalry's inside. And that's probably going to die. The general's now trapped inside. Not a bad idea to charge, charge into this unit, but... Oh, that's a good charge. Good charge. Now you need to, like, just destroy this Dorian Spear Paladin unit. And the cavalry needs to get out of here as soon as possible and just carry on uh, just charging everywhere. Just bounce off at every single choke point and just break these guys. Or just any any men. But yeah, these Spear Paladins now breaking decisively. Another charge coming in here. The frames are not looking great at the moment, but hey... There, another great charge, actually. That was by the Knights of Imladris. And there you go. I think they're going to pull through again. Uh, yeah, it's a bit scummy by Dol Amroth, I won't lie. They, these guys are trapped as a cavalry. They shouldn't have even got in to start with. But um, they are going to lose some cavalry for that. They might have been better just charging these Vinland Guard. The Dol and Spear Paladins are wavering. It's now just a small unit of Dawning Protectors. I'd definitely start charging here. Here we go. He's finally sending troops that were blobs up here to come around. Because they need to. They really need to. And the general is somehow still alive. Um, but yeah, now, now I wouldn't engage. Don't engage here. Oh, this is huge. Get the cavalry round, I swear. Dol Amroth, get your cavalry round and you can just surround all of this unit here. Yeah, look at this. He's now... Dawning's going to be able to get his spears back. He needs to... Uh, Flying around. Dorian is starting to look very likely he's going to break. Uh, like, these lines are starting to break very quickly now. Like, these Seaward Infantry, get them behind. Start surrounding stuff. The Cavalry, get it around. Start doing stuff with it. Surround this uh, Dorian Protectors unit. You can win that fight. This unit of sources is otherwise just going to die for nothing. Oh, I beg. I beg. Okay, he's going to send in the sl sm small unit of swords. And here comes the Cavalry. He's finally realised... As we're coming to the dying stages of this, uh, of this battle. And the small unit of Sea Ward infantry over here fighting to the, for their lives. Like, come on, you can do this. Oh, Vinland uh, Spear Paladins down here. Or Dorwinian Spear Paladins. I like, yeah, interesting how they've got the same armor though. One's called Vinland, one's called Dorwinian. Oh, that guy just made a jump and he just got speared. Yeah, here comes the cavalry. Now route this unit of spears. Route this unit of spears. Punish them for coming out and fighting in the uh, open field. Oh, that's a good charge. And here's another one. Break these guys. Surround this. Uh, yeah, that is uh, going to do some damage. So apparently the... Uh, oh, there we go. The unit is losing decisively. This unit is... Uh, combat even. I keep the infantry in it. This unit has got to stay in it. I mean, I guess around this Dorian Paladin, but I keep the cavalry in here for as long as possible. With infantry support, you can break this. Then they're in trouble. If the general dies now for Dol Amroth, it could go either way. Could go either way right now. Oh, yeah. See, the band's power is uh, evened out. Oh, and the generals might not get out of this alive. He managed it. He managed it. He's got 12 men left. He needs to keep every cavalryman alive. They need more infantry here. They need more infantry here. Oh, my gosh. That blob has just not moved at all. And there we go. Uh, so, yeah, the cavalry here. I mean, yeah, I charge these guys again. Just carry on charging. The spear unit here is going to flank here. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is an insane last stand. Look at the balance power. It's shifting massively back in favor of Dorwinian now. It's now 774 against 500. It's an insane last stand. Um, and here we go. A cavalry charge. We're going to brace for this charge. Oh, that's a nasty charge. And then the other unit of uh, Dorian Protectors coming in to chop these cavalry down. They need to get out of there as soon as possible, really. Yeah, they did a good job. They killed a lot of them. 
yeah, they need to get out. The general is still alive with his red cape. Do another charge. Dare these men to come out and face you. Break them. Now the spears, yeah, send the spears in. All the cavalry has to do is just be a threat now. Oh gosh, just win the trees. But yes, this choke point over here doing nothing. Oh, they've surrounded. Okay, so they've surrounded these guys. That is huge. Um, the spears are losing though. No surprise. They're better seeing their choke point really. Um, this is kind of a throwaway. But oh well. I guess. Oh well. They've got plenty of swords returning. I mean, yeah, this is what I'd be holding now. They just hold this small choke point here. They've broken everything on this side. So this is huge. So, okay, okay. They might be okay, my Dorwinian. But uh, it's going to be close. It's going to be really close. Yeah, get the cavalry through here and start doing cycle charges on the other stuff. The infantry should break the spear unit. But they're not winning here. Where is the where is the cavalry? It went into attack here. Why? This is spears. Could have taken those shock infantry out. Surround them, break them. This unit of spears is nothing compared to the uh, to the door winning protectors. Kill these guys. Yeah, the general is nearly dead. Oh, he's going in here. Okay. Oh god, I mean, the camera is just being an absolute nightmare. I hate these buildings. These buildings are just the bane of my life now. But he's done quite well. He's got out of that combat pretty well. This man's a bit stuck. Oh no, we've got men dying now. The general is out though. You can see him there in his red cape. Nice right, Imra Hill. Yeah, you need to charge in here. Well, you need to do it a bit earlier, but yeah. Or we'll charge into here. But they are actually now starting to free up a lot of units, our uh, Dorwinian. And since Dolomath has so many plugged in here, he's in a bit, of a bit of an issue. But he is wavering this unit here. Come on, break these guys. Break these guys. Sounds like the cavalry's coming in for another charge somewhere. Oh no, it's just sitting around at the back. We've got more many, more men in here now. They're actually flanking Dol Amroth. They're squeezing them into a small circle. I mean, all you need to do uh, now, I mean, yeah, actually, they break this unit here, then you can flank around with all this. You can break all of these men here. And get the general round, you flank this unit. It's very much doable. It's going to be so close, though. Dorwin protects us. 14 men holding back. Well, 37. Could go either way, to be honest. Um, these Dorwinian men have seemed to pull out a miracle out of their, their hat every single time. Chop them down with your big oversized swords. Yeah, I'd save the general now. If I was uh, Dolanos, your general is uh, not the priority. But, I mean, there you go. That unit is broken. Vince's court guard guards are gone. Right, these two units here. Send the halberds back in and the spears and flank these guys here. And you can get a lot of kills. Or just send one of the units in here. Send the court guards in. And then get the uh, spears to go around and start flanking the whole lot. Because they've freed, they've decided to put everything in here. They've got everything in it. And I mean, this sword unit here is about to break them all. But I'd say it's gone... Yeah, balance power has gone back in favour of Dol Amroth now. It was that mistake by Dorwin to send out his spears was a big mistake, I think. Yeah, this uh, Dorwin protects is basically the unit that they need to worry about. It's now on two she silver chevrons. It's insane. But they're pulling out a lot of men. It's Dol Amroth. I think because they know what they're going to do. And if I was Dol Amroth, I would re uh, rethink about this assault here. It's just not going to be worth it. They're sending more troops into Vinter Court. Uh, swordsmen are going to help out over here. Like, I don't think they really... Like, Dol Amroth, I think, lost more men in this assault than uh, Dol Winning. There's a lot of... A lot of dead Dol Amroth troops down here. There are obviously a lot of dead Dol Winning troops as well, but... 
Like this was these two units of swords were fresh when they went in. And they're right one's down to fifty, one's under eighty. I thought they'd kill more than that. Um concern over here, we've got wavering. I mean this unit is losing decisively, but we have wavering here. By these spear paladins. Oh Vinter Court Guard, they're not even spear paladins. Oh no, and Vinland Guards are now breaking. Oh no, not breaking, but they're uh, on their own. And here we go. So this is also now a concern. And my, yeah, my voice is dying, it would seem. Um, yeah, we've got halberd I just marched the halberds forward. With some uh, spears. And then you'll be fine. The famous last words of uh, Pope John Paul when he, when he sends his troops in. This is probably what would happen. The general is going for a charge here. Excellent idea. That will probably break this uh, Vinland Guard unit. Hopefully, you can pray for uh, if you're rooting for if you're rooting for Dol Amroth, you will want this uh, unit to break soon because then it is, well, curtains for Dolwynian. Uh, do another cycle charge, charging again. If he's got any abilities as that general, he needs to start using them. He needs to start using rally. And there we go. This choke point is finally uh, been overwhelmed. And it's just down to here. It's down to these two units. Oh, gosh. Yeah, now I start sending in stuff uh, like halberds and, well, whatever else you've got. But, I mean, you just it's going to be a crush on either side now. Um, the general is best just staying out of it. You just pop his rallies and just keep these men alive. Um, looks like he's going to have to space out a little bit. But it is going to come down to this, and it looks like Dorwinian is done. He is done. He is now... He, his tricks have basically all run out. I did think he was out of tricks, but his Dorwinian protectors were certainly one, and, certainly one big trick. And they certainly uh, managed to do a lot of work. They were something special, put it like that. But yeah, I mean, look at this. This formation. Oh! It's amazing. These men just come f slowly forward. Yeah, they're all going to form shield wall and they're all going to march very slowly. So, uh, just for the benefit of the video, I'm just going to fast forward here until someone charges in. If anyone charges in, Dol William might just break at any moment, throwing the, throw the towel. Got swords. Uh, no, these are both spear units. They might do okay. They're slowly, look at this, slowly going forward and they're just going to clash. Here we go. Unit just clashing in shield wall. Neither side wants to give up their shield wall advantage. No surprise there, really. Halberdiers, get them in there now. Get them in there with some uh, some spears. Now, if I was the Dorwin, I'd send forward the Dorwin protectors, catch these uh, Prince's Coast Guard out. Oh, he's going to do the same, but with his Vincent Court Swordsman. There you go. Catch these Coast Guards out, and there we go. What I thought he might do. So, yeah, he should have sent the spears and first sent the Halberdiers. And these uh, Coast Guards are, yeah, they're going to die. Uh, losing already. Yeah, he desperately needs to get stuff in there. He's just got spears left. Wow. Nothing left. Spears and a general. That's pretty beaten up. That general just needs to go and stand over here. But let's just carry on fast forwarding. There you go. The Coast Guard's breaking. No surprise there. And then it's just going to be a big old blob of spears. And this is the side that I think Dorwin is going to break first. Just because they've attacked and they're attacking spears. And I think the spears some, did form some sort of spear wall at some point. So it took ages to get to help the Coast Guard. They didn't. I don't think they really cared about the Coast Guard at that point. This side looks like it could hold forever. These guys just not really wanting to die. This spear wall versus spear wall. Or, well, shield wall versus shield wall. Here we go. I mean, those, those... Okay, the Coast Guard did return 15. Uh, and here you go. They're, like, flanking on in here. Um, but this is not good, actually. Wavering here. Losing decisively here. Dorian Protectors are still doing a lot of damage. I don't know what's going to happen, to be honest. I think Dol Amroth might break first. I think Dol Amroth's going to break first. Oh, and the General's in here now. This is a risk. He's like bugged his way through here. He's like, he just keeps flying around. Now he's in a risky position. There you go. He's just the last unit. He's the last one of his unit. And there we go. I think Dorwinian's got this now. 
I think Dorwin you might have this. Seaward infantry. Oh yeah, look at that wavering. I mean, but these rules are wavering. It is coming down to the wire. To the wire. But we've got lots of wavering over here. Oh my gosh. Win decisively, yeah. I think Dol Amroth has been beaten. Dol Amroth might have been beaten here. Look, all this stuff is breaking and like actually gone properly. That is unfortunate. I don't think he... Oh yeah, balance power massively now. Well, yeah, 103 men. Oh my gosh, wow. What a roller coaster. If you've got this far into the battle, well done to you. I mean, it is an insanely long battle, and I do appreciate if you've got this far. Um, but, yeah, you have witnessed you have witnessed a great uh, final stand by Dorwinian. And what a victory for him. A valiant defeat for uh, Dolanroth, and well played to both players, to be honest. So, thank you for Boris for sending that in. It's a great replay, um, and a great last stand, and a well played to Executioner as well. Um, and a great win for him in the end. Being both armies, it's hardly a win, really. Uh, both sides like, lost so many men. 472 kills for the Knights of Imrahil, the general unit. 300-odd um, kills for the Knights of Sil Swan. A Haven Guard getting 432. Um, Prince's Coast Guard getting like 99. That's not bad. Um, Nimrodel Rangers, 227. Um, Coastal Skirmishers getting 166. Pretty good. And then dismounted Knights of Immerhill, getting 219. 642 for that Dorwin Protectors. It's the unit that is still surviving at the end. Vinter Court Swordsman, 295. 392 for another one. Wow. Uh, 227 for Spear Paladins. Um, 206 for these Avari Marksmen that were focusing guys down at the beginning. Both sides did amazing well. So there you go. There are the end results. Um, thank you for, if you got this far into the battle. It was a very long one, and I do appreciate you... Uh, stopping by and watching that absolute slog of a battle um if you enjoyed please do remember to leave a like subscribe if you're new around here and you want to see more epic battles like that and a comment for any scenarios that you want me to uh, recreate whether it's lord of the rings or just generally in history um and until next time legionnaires i will see you guys 